Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Division. This is The Trouble with Bubbles, mm -hmm. and we are playing episode three. We're going to do the Hudson Refugee Camp mission. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Who cares about civilians? Civilians are overrated. Ha! You suck. Alright, I just got to level 7, so if I have any issues with this, it's because of that. It's suggested that I be level 7 to complete this mission, but I think I can do it just barely level 7. What are we eating that's gross? Can of goulash. Yum. Contaminated meat. Yummer. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Stick your head up. <laughs> I'm so glad I missed it. With every one of those shots. Come on. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaner weak are points the are fantastic. That's what it looks like, and it fits the I'm cleaner so well. glad If you wanted to eradicate every exist. last vestige of detectable virus. Where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they'd... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? I Every day, that. doctor. Every day. Good luck, agents. Too much fire in the train car. Another one at the end, I think. When I play with my friends, they call me the Minesweeper because I just run right through them. Like they were Warning. never even there. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously, you're going to try to keep them all alive. Oh, but I need really? those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive. I guess. You know what I'm saying. I was nowhere I'm near now. that. Candle out. Let's play. How many grips can one person get? Because all I seem to pick up are grips. Where are my little friends? Problem? Is it the fact that you're about to die? I'm definitely going to make this episode a lot shorter than the other two, just to try not to bore you. We're going to stick with one mission and maybe a side mission or something per episode so it doesn't get too tedious. Warning. Chemical signature of explosives detected. Explosives, Confirmed. you say? It's Napalm B, all right. With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're going to kill every last refugee in that shanty town. 
We need that tank to be safe. you out of the way. That guy went for a ride. Case of the long range shotgunner. Come on. I'm not worried about the turret because once you fall, the turret is not long for this world. Come on. M4. Well, I have a police M4, and it's green, so there's no need for the whatever color one. Gray. Lack of color. Absence of color. Alright. It's a pretty fun mission. I like the weak spots, and I like being able to blow up gas tanks and set bad guys on fire. Alright. Let's go see what our new loot is. Maybe it's something we can actually use. Hunting vest. Ooh, let's check it out. 32 armor. That will definitely come in handy. I hear some melee guys. Uh oh. Ugh. You were not okay, anywhere agent. near me. As soon me. as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor? Yes. As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Ooh, good. I Thank you, doctor. Him. Get moving, agent. This is Dr. Candle. Sampling team, Blow can you up. hear me? What's out here? Go ahead, doctor. Oh, Lieutenant, good. Listen, I need you guys to log in, take info from everybody you get a sample from. Age, gender, ethnicity, general state of health on a 10-point scale. Then label and group the samples according to... Excuse me, Doctor, but maybe this could wait until we get confirmation the op is actually complete. You saying you don't have faith in your agent? I have faith Just in Just focusing me. on the task at hand. Lieutenant, Stick we'll radio the up. Doctor as soon as the area is secured. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get it all worked out. I hope so. It's only the survival of the human species. He's gonna out. blow! <laughs> Copy that, Doc. Hotel out. That is just so satisfying. I don't know why. Last part. This is a little tougher, but I think I can. You know the situation is too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. If we do what we oh, gotta come do. On. Might not be too late for the rest of the country. So go to work. Right. 
I'm gonna stay back here for the time being just because even though I'm level seven and a quarter that doesn't mean I'm qualified to complete this mission here have some some grenade Come on. Alright, that's the one I needed to worry about. And now it's just the boss. And his long range shotgun. And his turret. Six? Oh. Oh, there's another guy. Would you look at that? Oh, there's a couple more guys. Oh, that was not... That's not the button I wanted. Here, have another grenade, because that's what... I think of course I'm on fire. Why wouldn't I be on fire? Come on. I'm sure this is incredibly boring to watch, but... I prefer the stealthy approach. That way it's not going to get killed. Because I get killed a lot. But, I got hunting pads and a new pistol, so that's exciting. Anything else? Nope. Alright, let's head up there and move the crane and save all the peoples. as a division agent, that's my duty. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. I will. You can trust me. Alright, let's get the best vantage point. Go, go, go! No, it's not here. Race the crane. All right, perfect. Boom. That should do it, agent. Solid work. Yes, good work. Now, sample team, listen up. Oh. Like I was saying, I'm going to need those blood samples labeled rifle. and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. Before we leave this mission and this episode, let's watch the intel gathered from this mission. One of the things that makes a virus lethal is adaptation. Rapid mutation yep. makes it harder for antibodies to identify and drugs to kill. What we're seeing in the samples you pulled from the population at the train yard is the degree of genetic drift green poison is already experiencing, and it's significant. Which means it'll be that much harder to find a vaccine. Yep. Which means a whole lot of people are gonna die. Alright. That about does I it for this episode. I'm trying to keep them short and sweet. So that I don't bore you guys. But if you liked it, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want. Uh, leave your questions, comments, or concerns mm -hmm. in the comments section. And this is the Trouble with Bubbles. I hope you had a wonderful time.